Welcome to another edition of the PE Pipe Alliance's Education Series, where today we're in Lakeland, Florida with Wosley Industrial and Strongbridge International. The focus of today's demonstration video is an electrofusion saddle. So that's a large diameter electrofusion saddle. It's a 24 by 12, so it has a 12 inch outlet. And we're going to demonstrate the proper tooling, the gear necessary to do that sort of electrofusion. Let's take a look. Let's review the tooling for this large diameter electrofusion saddle installation. We have our pipe system, we have our electrofusion coupler, which is a 12 inch outlet, which is held in place by our special spider tool, which provides enough interfacial pressure to ensure a proper fusion between the saddle and the pipe surface. We also are using our hydraulic re-rounding clamps which provide rounding of the pipe to ensure there are no gaps between the saddle base and the pipe surface. And these work by a series of hydraulic pistons and a pump kit. The print line on HDPE pipe will verify the pipe size and OD convention. To ensure that the pipe is within spec and therefore compatible with your chosen fitting, measure the diameter using Pi tape. All electrofusion fittings come wrapped in plastic to protect from contamination and prevent oxidation of the inside of the coupler. The fitting label confirms pipe size, dimension ratio, and the fusion parameters of the fitting. After cleaning the pipe with isopropyl alcohol with a concentration of 96% or greater, place the fitting where it will eventually be fused. All pipe interfacing with an electrofusion fitting must be peeled to ensure that any oxidized layer on the outside of the pipe has been removed to expose clean virgin polyethylene. Using a clean peeling tool, peel the marked area of the pipe that will interface with the fitting. Pipe that is out of round will not interface properly with the coupler and adequate fusion force will not be achieved. Hydraulic reround clamps are a crucial tool for correcting out of round pipe prior to fusion. Clean the fitting with isopropyl alcohol with a concentration of 96% or greater. Place the fitting on the peeled and cleaned section of the pipe. The spider tool is used to secure the large diameter saddle to the pipe and eliminate any gaps between pipe and fitting. Use a ratcheting chain or strap to secure the spider tool to the pipe. Tighten the ratcheting chain to secure the saddle to the pipe. Use a feeler gauge to ensure there are no gaps between pipe and fitting that may compromise the fitting. Tighten the spider tool as needed to eliminate gaps. Now it's time to fuse the saddle. The electrofusion processor's leads connect to the fitting. The barcode on the fitting will communicate the fusion parameters to the fusion processor. The processor will fuse the fitting for the time listed on the coupler's label. Cool time post-fusion is also listed on the label. Use a feeler gauge to check for gaps in the completed fusion. 